Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. So this week we're going to service this Cube SL road. Now when I take bike in, I initially do an assessment. I've already noticed there's a clip missing on the rear derailleur. You'll notice that missing on the cable there. There's a clip missing. And I check things like the, the stretch on the chain while the customer's here. And as you can see, this chain is completely stretched out. And in fact, this chain has gone way beyond worn out. You know, you can see how here you can actually move it on the chain ring. It will just skip over that chain, chain ring with time. And unfortunately, when it's this worn, it's also wearing out those chain teeth on that chain ring and sharking them off. Now, you know, when you look in your sheds, you've all got a pump in your shed. Everyone who's got a bike, you know, in the entire country, world, wherever, has probably got access to a pump and that'll be in their shed. But the one thing they don't have is a gauge to check their chain. It's the most important thing you can have in your bike in Arsenal. That cassette was worn off there, the chain ring's worn off, the chain has worn off. If the chain had been replaced sooner, neither the chain ring nor the cassette would have needed replacing. You can usually, you know, probably go through four or five chains, if not more, before you need to replace those components if you catch that chain in time. So it's a really important thing to have is just to check your chain. Now you can see here on this front derailleur how there's little debris of, of mud and sort of build up on there. You get that on the components. When you put your oil on, it's lovely and fresh and it fl flows out of your oil can onto your chain. But as you ride, as you pedal, little bits of dust and debris are flicked up from your tires and off the road and they'll then stick to that lovely oil and then it becomes pasty and thick and congealed and that's you know when you need to clean your chain or, or refresh you know your oiling system and you kind of end up with this residue build up which is what we aim to clean off when we do a bike speed service so we'll either clean or replace the chain clean the chain rings clean the derailleurs and that's all sort of part of a routine service for us this this kind of work where we're cleaning components this isn't a full strip down service so this is you know pretty much our standard service that we're doing day in day out just cleaning components off re-lubricating them getting all that oily residue off and then also when i'm servicing bikes i'm just trying to spot little details little things that are subtly wrong with the bike but by the time we've serviced customers don't even or aren't even aware of what we've done they just know that bike is better when they get back. I always like to try and make people re-fall in love with their bikes. You know, they can bring in a very tired, very dirty, very grimy, very sad looking bike. And by the time we've serviced it, oiled everything, all the gears are shifting beautifully, the brakes are working nicely, the bike looks clean and tiny and presentable. I want them to get back on that bike and sort of think, wow, you know, I loved it. I did like this bike when I got it, you know, have that feeling about it. So we're lubricating up the jockey wheels. We're just using some Shimano premium grease there. A little bit of Loctite 222. I was having a discussion with someone about Loctites this week and sort of explaining that there's different strengths of Loctite and it's important to get the right one for the right component. And 222 is a very low strength Loctite, so you're never going to have problems actually undoing those threads You know, in the future. They're a very small thread. You don't want to bond them into the other half. So it's just little subtleties like that, a little bit of oil on the pivot points of the derailleur because although they don't really need oiling from new they will wear you know and, and although they're sort of designed not to really need lubricating it just helps the actuation especially from a servicing point of view you can see this bike's done some miles and just by lubricating everything it just makes it actuate and shift that a little bit nicer so now we're just putting the chain ring back on we've actually replaced this chain ring so the large ring on this is, is a new one but it's on the original arm and we, so obviously we torque all the bolts up make sure they're correct and then we're just going to deal with, you see the rub on that pedal arm there? We're going to deal with that with a vinyl sticker. We get asked about the vinyl stickers quite a lot in the comments. These we actually cut ourselves. We've got the vinyl in stock from various colours and shades. And so we, we just peel one of those off. I've just gone beyond the wear on this. So as it's scuffed, it's actually the, the heel of the rider has just caught this. And as it scuffs off, you can see there, if I go beyond the scuff mark, then all he's going to do is rub the new sticker and it won't actually peel off because it's beyond the, the actual marking that's on the component we have discussed you know maybe in the future putting those onto our website as, a, as an item you'll be able to buy but at this stage obviously we're spending so much time building the youtube channel we can't really look too far ahead you can't run before you can walk so you can see here we just cleaned up the pads that's something else we do you know we just skim them down and just get all the residue off them and that just makes the actuation of the brakes feel like new again takes away any squealing that the bike may have and then we just wash down the bike. Again, like I say, this is a routine service, so it's not one of our stripped down re rebuild services where we you know, polish and ceramic coat the bike. 
So this is just a wash down, just to make sure it's you know nicely presentable to the to the customer. So and again, you can you can spot things when you're washing down a bike. It's good to sort of have that hands-on time with a bike. You can just maybe spot little clips that are broken, missing things that aren't quite right. Just sort of checking around the bike the whole time you're washing it down. Always use microfiber towel because they're lovely and soft. They'll absorb that water off. They won't scratch the bike. And then I'm just sanding down the disc rotor. Again, it's just to stop any of that squealing. They, they gradually get scored and, and marked and damaged effectively. But we just skim that down just with a little bit of emery cloth. It, it doesn't have to be super smooth. You know, it's not like rubbing down a car. You are just literally getting that so that it won't squeal. So that's a you know a good practice to do when you service your bike just to sort your brakes out. And now I'm just cleaning down the hub. I like to always degrease these hubs because very occasionally you can spot grime that is going to work its way into the bearings through the sills and if you clean that grime off obviously you know you're going to save that problem and you can also fill the bearings when you clean them up and just to make sure that's all they need and that they don't need some form of bearing work at the same time so again clean up all the spokes and the wheel it's just a way of getting tactile with the bike and checking that everything's okay before we put on this lovely new cassette so now we've got a new chain ring new cassette and then we will also replace the chain at the same time Again, I've mentioned this in other videos, turning tires to get logos over valves. It's just good practice. It's just a, a little finishing touch that you want to make sure, one, that the tire is rotating in the right direction. It's amazing how many directional tires I actually turn around in the course of a week. I mean, it is a lot of tires that are fitted the wrong way around. Most tires on bikes, once you go beyond the really cheap sort of entry level bikes, once you go to medium level and above, they're nearly always a directional tire. It's amazing how many people just put those on without realizing and we have to then turn them around. We're also putting a new bottom bracket bearing in this one. It was very, very noisy, this bottom bracket, and I had a lot of play in it. So it clearly needed a new bottom bracket bearing. So we're just fitting in that as well to go with that new chain ring. So the pedaling of this bike will be next level, really. You know, it'll be completely different to how the bike came in. It'll have a lovely smooth pedal stroke and you won't have skipping of a chain or anything like that and the gears will all be working so we didn't replace the cable just refitted the, the original one there there was no need to replace the cable on that one it was there was plenty of life in it and it was changing gear okay when it came in albeit not quite right so if there's enough room there to nip off and then we will and you can see there i just put the cable clip back on there before we refit the brakes and gradually get this bike back together if you are new to the channel do hit the subscribe button because it really helps with algorithms to help a channel grow so do hit the subscribe, do hit the bell and do drop the comment. We love the comments. The interaction we're getting with you all now is amazing, really. You know, we, we, we begin to recognize frequent commenters and beginning to really in, enjoy that interaction. We had somebody come in the shop literally today, just before I started recording this. And he, he was in the area and he came and found us. And, you know, we had a good old chat about the YouTube channel. And that was really nice today. So I just also shortening the tail on this front derailleur. This is another thing I see quite regularly where they're kissing the pedal arm as it rotates. I think in factories, they're built so fast, these bikes with no love necessarily. And they're often, then tails are too long because people are literally getting hold of a cable, chop, chop, chop. And there's no interest in, in or reasoning as to why that cable should be slightly shorter. So I shortened that and put a new cable end on there. And now I'm just working my way through the bike with the torque wrenches. We've got, I don't know, three or four different torque wrenches for different jobs. and. We sort of gradually work our way through, checking all the torques, checking all the specs. Every nut and bolt that we can get to, you know, readily and easily, we will check during a service, especially saddle clamps. So loads of those are often loose. We've got, you know, various different lengths and fittings just to be able to breeze through. And then subtle details make a huge difference to me. And you can see these heads on these screws weren't lined up. And actually they weren't that tight either. So I was able to just to turn those and just square those up. It's just a nice little sort of little detailing touch that the customer may not notice but they're the things that make the difference so as you can see what a difference we have made to this bike it's gone from neglected and worn out to loved and ready to ride it's got you know hundreds of miles now in it what a difference a service can make it's such a simple thing to have done and yet yeah, makes a huge difference so thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week